It's Monday morning, 7 a.m. We're waiting on a ride, and we're headed to New York, so. Here we go, old style vlog, travel vlog, baby. Let's go. As per usual. In that beta stage, this should go and wake him up. 204 saving grace, I feel I wasn't paid enough. Predicting what I complain about when Ali catch a major buzz. Hundreds too freshly pressed, watch out for the paper cuts. The dude working, the tour coming, I'm poured up. The new burden is getting room service in foreign tongues. Boarding a Bombardier to fly to where I'm born from. And when I land a bad insta influencer swarm us. Women, they loving the dude, I can't follow, bear the thought. I've committed something to do, they quick to have the marriage talk. And no one can. A very TSA agent. I thank you for your, your duty. But if you see someone with shoes on and your first reaction is to like scream at them to take their shoes off. I feel you have to explain the situation. So <laughs> anytime in TSA, like I always get checked because I have prosthetics and I have to do that. And I can't take my shoes off in the little like spinny thing because I have to get checked after anyways. Yeah, so I told the first. <laughs> well, I recommend you tell your TSA agents to ask nicely next time. Anyways, <laughs> so I went in there, I told the first guy, like, I have prosthetics, can't take my shoes off. He tells the other TSA agents on the other side, like, hey, you can't take his shoes off. I go in the thing, I lift up my arms, and the lady in TSA is like, shoes, no, get out. Like, like yells really loud. Everyone in TSA looks at me, like, what's wrong with this guy? It's just super embarrassing, and like, there's no reason for it. Just like, if you would ask, like, just hey, ask nicely. Would you be able to take your shoes off, or are you able to take your shoes off? Yeah, don't just like scream. Like a lot of people know you're supposed to take your shoes off. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be less embarrassing for me. Stay the same. Invest in me if you want me to. That's cinnamon. <laughs> Turn their backs in the past, now they wanna come back. Too bad I'm not practicing forgiveness. Oh my goodness gracious! Congrats on the flight to New York. Oh, it is so Freaking cold. cold. <laughs> yeah. It is freezing in this plane as well, so now I'm really glad to be yeah. this way. <laughs> nice. How was your poop? I didn't poop. <laughs> We don't have to Uber. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never been to a Four Seasons. Yes, you have. When? In St. Louis. We went to First Form. We're at a Four Seasons? Yes. Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> Well, that bed, that is the most perfect bed I've ever seen. Holy crap, that is very nice. <laughs> so you're telling me I can't get out to my own balcony? They left us a COVID test? Yeah, How thoughtful COVID of test. them. How sweet. <laughs> These actually do look fire, though. To my curtains. You might have seen us in this position before. We're just now in different outfits. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, babe. Thanks. Taking another COVID test. We got some magic tricks done last night by a magic magician. We'll explain all about it later. Today we're going to Johnson and Johnson's uh, like medical research headquarters, I think, mm -hmm. in New York City. Um, New Jersey. New Jersey. Yesterday they pretty much didn't tell us anything, and I think we're supposed to go with no expectations, and we're supposed to learn. So we don't really know a lot about it, but. Our thinking caps are on. Yeah, our thinking caps are on. We're excited to see what, what kind of research they got going on and see what we think. Obviously, the medical industry is very prevalent in my life. So we met a lot of cool people We did yesterday. meet a lot of really cool people yesterday. Didn't realize this was a real flower, so... <clears throat> 
That's unfortunate. Why you standing in my kitchen? As far as this room yeah, in the four seasons. We're out. Peace, peace, love and happiness. Thanks for having us for 36 hours in New York. When I get a mansion up in the canyons, I'ma go passage to my dad. I'm putting my mama on a yacht, putting Sebastian up in the fastest with the jag back to Jacksonville. Get Stephanie Cabal, cause when I'm it's worse when somebody else is duking. I'm supposed to be sympathetic and I can't stop laughing. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. All of it happened, they only if you win. You push me into distraction, can't keep none of you win. Don't be turning on them re-receipts. So fun. When do you think the first year of the answer to where Jay and Jay was? Did it take a guess? Like what year? 2012. Can you guess? How about 1897? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so they've been around. <laughs> Instagram's been around a while. <laughs> so after this, we continued our tour of the Johnson & Johnson Museum. And we learned a lot of really interesting stuff, one of which was the fact that Johnson Johnson actually created the first sterile surgeries, which for me was a really big deal because I've had probably 10 plus surgeries throughout my life after I lost my legs. And if they're still doing it the old way, there's no chance that I would be living. So big shout out there. We also saw other really cool things like the Ebola vaccine that Johnson Johnson provided. And we saw how band-aids were created and all of these really big medical advancements that I never really thought of and kind of just took for granted. They all started right here. It was so cool seeing what they thought was the right thing back then compared to what we know now. I've had probably like, I don't know, 20 surgeries in my life, maybe more. They said the survival rate before they came out with sterile surgery was not very high. I definitely would have died without Johnson & Johnson. Absolutely. <laughs> I was they, not making it through all those surgeries. They weren't washing their hands before surgery. They yeah, thought that was normal. Let me show you the greatest quote of all time. <laughs> Doctors are gentlemen, and a gentleman's hands are clean. Facts. False. Facts, bro, <laughs> facts. They also said that, like, <clears throat> doctors, like, the blood and dried stuff they had on their, like... All over their coats. Their gowns was, like, a sign of how much experience, experience they had. So. so, like, the dirtier their coat was, like, the better it looked because of... I'm How going to blood. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and that, they would never that guy's got to figure it out. Yeah, so safe to say, Hunter was not going to make it back in the day. Look at that. Gross. Gritty. Gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was fun. <laughs> All right, it's been some time. We changed literally here at the airport. We're back at the airport. We're in, like I said, we're in New York for like 36 hours. But after our tour, we ate a little bit, talked to some absolutely like brilliant scientists and people just in the medical field. It was super cool, super fun to hear about. And then we went to the gift shop and got some cool band-aids and stuff. So now we're heading home.